In this video, I'm evaluating all important AWS tools from awesome to garbage. So let's get into it. All right, what I have done is I've selected the tools based on what are people going to use and what I have experience with. So these we're going to organize into awesome, which is the best one, then very good, okay, kind of meh and garbage. Let's start. These are organized in alphabetical order, by the way. So API Gateway is the first one that allows you to create your own APIs, have other people make API calls or make your platform modular, which is, in my opinion, very good. It's a very good tool. It's not the obvious one. Most people are going to look at this further in their uh, journey, but very good tool. And then we have EventBridge for scheduling scheduling your Lambda functions and so on. EventBridge is an okay service. It's, if you if it's enough, it's enough. You don't need to go for Airflow or stuff. EventBridge, very good. I mean, okay. Then we have Kinesis. Whenever you look into message queues, you might have already looked into Kafka. Kinesis, very good service. Super simple to set up. Super simple to use. Pricing is absolutely okay. Kinesis, good. Then we have Kinesis Firehose, where you can stream the data that is through Kinesis or that comes into Firehose directly into destinations. I used it before and it's kind of meh. You need to go through files through S3 and the debugging is quite terrible so it's kind of meh it's okay to it's okay to use but to debug and so on nah. so kind of meh then we have quicksight quicksight as the alternative to looker data studio and to power bi and so on and if you have used one of these before and you're using quicksight you're going to see quicksight garbage absolute garbage forget about it not good rds setting up a relational database relational database service what this is it's good it's it's good should we do this in very good i think it's it's very good ah it's a pretty standard service but let's let's just put it into okay for now then redshift if you've used snowflake before or bigquery ah redshift i'm thinking it's is it kind of meh or is it garbage? It, let's let's keep it with kind of meh. It's okay service. It's very old. It needs servers. It, let's, it's not garbage, but it's not okay, especially compared to the other tools. So it's kind of meh. Route 53. I have used Route 53 a lot, especially whenever I get URLs and I want to host websites. It's very nice tool. You don't need to go through GoDaddy and so on. If you have a bit of knowledge what to do, Route 53, very good, very good. SageMaker, a lot of people look into SageMaker. It's a bit complicated to use. SageMaker, yes, you can do machine learning with it. Training, you can do ap application of models or hosting of models, but it's not easy. And it's very dangerous to burn a lot of money in there. I'd say it's kind of meh. Why not train your models on your own and then host it through a Docker container? So, meh. SNS, the notification service. Send out notifications. It's okay. It's okay. Simple uh, queue service. Kind of like Kinesis, but not a distributed queue. And once you've taken something out of it, it's gone. You can't rerun stuff. So it's, it's okay. Absolutely okay. For simple queues. Okay. Okay. Good. Athena. That is something I really like. Because with Athena, if you have data in your data lake in S3, you can actually query data with Athena with SQL queries. Because it's going to create tables out of or use tables. You can define tables of your data in of your files in S3 and query them with SQL. So really good. 
I would put this as the first one into awesome because this is very, very helpful, especially if you work with files, if you have a lot of stuff in the data lake. Super, it's awesome. Next one as well, S3. I think we all know S3. It's the file storage, simple storage service, I think, S3. Uh, it's been there for a long time. It's a great service. Just drop the files in, in and in combination with Athena, especially absolutely awesome. Very good tool. Then we get to time stream of the, the time series database. I don't know. I, it's like the pricing is super, super expensive and compared to stuff like InfluxDB or other times time series database like timescale and so on. Let's put it into garbage. VPC, working with virtual private cloud, working with clouds and the whole um, setting up the, the IP infrastructure and so on, or the network infrastructure. It's okay. This is where a lot of people struggle. We could also put it in kind of map, but it's, it's necessary and it's okay. Then I put in work mail here because I have a work mail account for an older uh, website uh, that I still use. And work mail, absolutely, it's straight into garbage. Absolutely garbage. The amount of spam that goes through work mail is terrible. Really terrible. Forget about work mail. It's like, oh, compared to stuff like Gmail, terrible. Then we have glue, very good glue. I would, it's in the, could we put it into awesome? It's right between, I would say right between awesome and very good because you can run your spark shops there. You can also, or you have also the uh, data catalog and the crawlers for the data catalog. So it works really well with S3 together. Let's put it into awesome. Let's put it into awesome. Glue is awesome. It's an awesome tool. And in combination with these top three here in the awesome, really 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 powerful then we have identity and access management it's yeah, it's okay it's an okay service it's nothing to write home about it's very much needed where you create roles and policies a lot of people struggle with this just like with vpc but it's it's okay, absolutely okay then we have lambda lambda as well lambda that for me goes straight into awesome if you've coded before and if you need uh, a host a piece of code serverless functions like lambda functions very good very easy to use very easy to um, set up also in combination with api gateway very strong um, absolutely it's awesome can't recommend this high enough step functions where you can um, basically combine multiple lambda functions for me that it's okay then we have Aurora DB, the serverless database. I don't know, it's, is it okay? I would say it's kind of meh. If you've used already RDS before, it's it's less, it, it's worse than RDS. And for a production database, I think you, sh you would want to go with RDS because it's easier to integrate. It's a bit tricky because it's serverless with the regions and so on and the management. So, mm, mm. CloudWatch, absolutely okay. It's good for for uh, looking at logs and so on. You can also schedule Lambda functions through there if you want, but it's it's okay. Then we have DynamoDB. DynamoDB, it's kind of meh. It's okay, it's, it's for, uh, for document store. It's okay, but if you have RDS and set up a Postgres database, mm. kind of meh. Then we have the EC2, EC2 very good setting up virtual uh, servers, hosting them, access to them, managing. Very good, very good. But then for hosting containers, ECS also very good, very easy to use, Fargate, great service, 
from price standpoint good from a management standpoint good so ecs overall very good then the container registry that you need for ecs i put this directly into okay it's nothing to write home about again uh it's okay okay service and then we have emr where you can host your spark jobs and do data processing especially distributed data processing emr comes from elastic MapReduce, right so but MapReduce you don't use anymore i don't know if is it okay let's let's call it okay if you're very strong into running spark jobs you most likely want to look into glue or maybe go towards databricks so it's it's okay and here we are that's it so here's my tier list let me know what you think most likely you're going to put in the comments now absolutely wrong you're an idiot but let me know what you think let me know where i'm wrong stuff that i've missed where you would put it in let's have a chat see you next time bye if you're into this want to learn this check out my academy at learndataengineering.com i have actually a big project for aws and also all kind of data engineering stuff that gets you to the point where you can become a data engineer or use data engineering in your current work so i hope you had fun let me know in the comments what you think and see you next time bye